team. It's your old mate, Kiwi Badger. Well, 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 how we going, team? It's been a wee while, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Oh, everything's shrunken. So, where are we going and what are we doing? Well, the answer to that is, well, it is, I think it's like the 39th Woodville Lions, coast to coast. Uh, it was debatable whether or not I was going to be going today because all week long we've had torrential rain and uh, strong winds. It's still windy today, but at least it's not pissing down with rain. So, yeah, that's <coughs> what we're doing. Uh, last couple of years I've done it with mates. Uh, I put the feelers out there this year and there doesn't seem to be that many people available or wanting to go. So I'm going on my own. So I'm saying that, I know that uh, the old mate Jimmy on his can spider, he'll be there. I think he's going to be with his lady and uh, I think a group called Crow, uh, Casual Riders out of Wellington it stands for I believe. So uh, yeah, I mean I'll meet up with them, I'll say day, but I'm going to do my own thing this year. And normally what happens is everyone rides to Woodville, all the bikes tag on the back of the Christmas parade. Uh, give the small country town of Woodville a bit of a buzz with hundreds of motorcycles in their Christmas parade. And um, then we stop for lunch, at which point I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be having lunch with my wife and, um, and the kids. I say wife now since we uh, last caught up, uh, I've gotten married, so gotten married to my my wife, obviously, uh, who was my gorgeous fiancé um, after two years of being engaged. <coughs> we, uh, we tied the knot on the 14th of November, nearly, uh, nearly two years after getting engaged. Wow, that wind is quite strong. Anyway, married life is awesome. Uh, very lucky to be her husband. So yeah, we're going to meet up at lunchtime, I'll say g'day, say hi to the kids, and um, and then uh, I was going to leave Woodville before the main group, and I'm going to make my way out there, because normally after everyone's had a break and something to eat, people have got too much energy and some people ride recklessly. Um, and you know, I, don't, I just don't want to be surrounded by it. I want to do the ride, but I don't want to be surrounded by dicks. So, not to say that everyone is a dick. Just those that are danger others. I've also got to take it careful because I've got a brand new set of tyres on. But anyway, let's get to Hamatangi Beach and, uh, and get registered.
back, team. G'day, g'day. So, uh -huh. where do we leave off? Well, where we left off was me heading to the uh, Woodville Lions coast to coast and not making it. I uh, was riding uh, to, to the registration and um, and the bike just died. Uh, it just died, no dash lights, nothing, it just died. It sounded like it was running out of fuel. Um, I pulled over, I checked all the fuses and um, it seemed to be like all the fuses were fine. Um, put all the stuff back on the bike, started the bike, it ran rough like it was only running on three cylinders and um, I managed to make about 5k towards home and then uh, it died again. That happened two or three times. Um, and then I ended up getting my father-in-law was uh, kind enough to come and pick me up with the bike and um, and head home. I've since pulled the the, uh, the fairing off the bike, and um, it would appear it's the uh, ignition relay was uh, had melted the fuse, so it was um, the fuse had actually blown fuse had actually blown um, but melted so that it could continue to work so the relay would heat up and stop and then it would uh, cool down and I could start the bike again then ride till it would heat up and then I would stop uh, yeah so I never completed the coast to coast which is unfortunate so I've replaced the ignition relay I've cleaned the air filter I've checked the fuel filter I've checked everything it could have possibly could have possibly been. Checked all the fuses again, and um, yeah. So I'm thinking it's time to replace the bike. Is what I'm thinking. It's not a bad bike. It's just starting to have a few issues. I mean, it was built in 1995. You know. It's nearly 30 years old. So this is a test ride, people. A test ride. We'll see if it breaks down again. Hopefully not. Hopefully I fixed it. Up by Mount Stewart. So, you know how you go. Uh, uh, well, you know what's the what's the school up Sandon Road? Mount Biggs. Mount Biggs. So I've turned uh, Mount Stewart heading towards Mount Biggs. Yeah, and it's pumped out. So I haven't. I've fixed nothing. <laughs> I've fixed absolutely nothing. Um. What I'm going to do, I'm going to check the fuses, and I am going to check the fuses, yeah. and I am going to let it cool down, and try and just limp home. I won't, I won't need to be towed or anything, so, 
here. Okay. So I don't know what time I'll be home. <laughs> All right, love you. Bye.